Today we're looking at the installation of a Corian Q-Touch 10 with the uh, E4545 cash drawer. Now the ports for these units are under a flap which lifts up. You have the cash drawer, then a USB for connecting to a computer. Then you have two USB ports which can be used for the likes of scanners. Your LAN port for connecting to the network then port 2, then port 1 is the furthest away from the power. The power cable is fixed in, so you don't need to actually plug that into the machine, you just need to plug that into power. So to begin with we will install the cash drawer, which is just a case of taking your cable, connecting it straight into the cash drawer one, and make sure that it is snugly in there. If you have FPOS integration, then take your cables, with the black RS-232 adapter that goes into port number two on the till. With the beige end going into your RS-232 on the black box. Any external printers, although this does have a built-in printer as well, you take the printer cable and the RS-232 cable, connect them both together. Now, the one with the number on it, and it's the shorter one, is the RS-232 adapter cable, which needs to be connected into the till. The longer cable, with a white tip at the end, is the one that connects into the printer. If that is around the wrong way, then the printer will not print. Once you've got everything connected up, you can turn the unit on. Now, as I said before, you can actually connect a USB cable into it as well for the scanner. It just goes into either of the two USBs. And you'll hear the item beep generally. Now for loading your paper with the Q-Touch 10, there is a little lever here which opens up and pops open the unit. Take your paper roll, place it in with a piece sticking out. Now when you pull it back, you will notice that it's actually lifted up slightly at the front here. You push it down. When you do the Q-Touch 10, you do not try to force it straight closed. There are lugs in here which could be broken if that is done. So it's closed and then push down towards the base then. Now once you've got everything hooked up and it's started up, you can try a test transaction to make sure things are working. So if FOSS machine comes up saying swipe or insert card, if you hit cancel it will send the information back so you don't have to put a transaction fully through. Then we can try cash. You see the cash drawer opens. Kitchen printer works. And lastly, if you try reading a barcode scanner, it comes up with a number. So it shows everything is connected up and working correctly.